Hey, it's me and back again. So I hope you're enjoying your Saturday afternoon. But I had to do this video. I absolutely had to do this video. Now I know you're probably thinking, skin glow and Afro, why you've got all your hair care products right in front of you like this? For one very important reason. If you don't know, recently it has come out that hair care products marketed towards black women in America contained dangerous chemicals and the problem is the ingredients the ingredients does the ingredients on the packaging does not list all of these harmful chemicals and some of them it admits them completely i was watching a video just now before i decided to do this video right here on youtube and there was um there was a uh, a, um, a professor she did a study and that's how she was able to find out that a lot of these a lot of these hair care products that are marketed towards black women contain these harmful chemicals now I wrote this down somewhere where is it oh yeah my notes so so many chemicals so many chemicals they found that cause these issues these are I'm just gonna list some of the symptoms that they can cause one breast cancer early puberty early puberty so when you're when your child whether you're girl or boy child they can have early puberty and you know with girls if your if your puberty starts early then your periods are likely to start earlier as well and that is why that is why there's actually said now the earlier the period the earlier your period starts the more the longer you've the longer you've been exposed to um estrogen and that can actually that can actually link to breast cancer so think about it your period starts when you're like eight nine and then you have years of you have years of being exposed to estrogen and then next thing you know you might find you might find a lump you might find a lump in your breast when you get older why is this madness and it's not just it's not even just in it's not even just in hair care products it's everything the food you eat the products the things you use to cream your skin it's on everything we need to be a lot more conscious about what we are putting on our skin now i'm sorry i've got some frankie paul playing in the background because today is the one year anniversary of his death so i just want to say it right now before I forget youtube i know you love to copyright my videos i do not own any of this music okay i'm just playing it because i love his music okay and also to put a disclaimer when i post this video i do not own this music okay it's not mine i'm just playing it because i really enjoy it so there you go and also today today would have been malcolm x's 93rd birthday and as you know, he was assassinated back in the 1960s. I believe it was 1964. Correct me if I'm wrong. I believe it was 1964 when he was assassinated. And Malcolm X is Malcolm X was known, you know, for being having very extreme views about the black race. He believed that we should we should be in we should be in power. You know, he used to refer to white people as white devils. But you know, and then and then he went to Mecca because he was a Muslim and he went to Mecca and after that he calmed down quite a lot but one of his quotes that always always sticks in my head is that black women are the most unloved women in America now even though I live in the UK I believe that quote can be can be um put towards any black woman in the world no matter where you live in whether you live in here in the UK anywhere in the Caribbean if you live in um if you live in Australia, wherever a black woman is, or even in even in our origin, even in our origin countries, you know, Africa, the countries within Africa, this this quote can be put towards any of us. So this is why this is why I'm doing this. This is exactly why I'm doing this video. Now I have a lot of I have a lot of products I use here. You know, Eco Styler Gel. I've been reading a lot about. I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos about Eco Styler Gel. And to be quite honest, and then we're saying that with Eco Styler Gel that it's can be damaging to the hair and it contains ingredients that can irritate irritate your skin, irritate your eyes, cause them to weep and all this kind of stuff. And we're putting this on a we're putting this on a hair and we're not even we're not even thinking about hey is this. 
is this even a good product is it something that is it something that's absolutely essential to put on your hair do we actually do we actually need to put gel on our hair because the thing is the one thing i've noticed about being a black woman is if your hair is not slicked down if it's not in twists then people assume then people assume your hair is unkept it's it's your hair is your hair is disgusting it's too wild why do we have why do we have these views about why do we have these views about our hair why your hair does not have to be slicked down all the time look i'm gonna be fun with my eco styler gel because not just because i've been watching those videos but purely because every time i use this eco styler gel to do my hair in a slick bun i've noticed that when it comes to washing my hair a week later my hair sheds like a bitch now I'm trying to control, I'm trying to control my swear and I'm sorry, I'm trying to control it. But my hair sheds like nobody's business whenever I use it now. It says the ingredients list, it says aqua, which is water, um, carboma, I think believe how you pronounce that, hydrolyzed wheat protein, PVB, glycerin. Glycerin is just if you make it, it absorbs moisture from the air so your hair doesn't get dry But every time I use this my hair is always dry Even if I use even if I use my leave-in conditioner first my hair stays dry. It's absolutely ridiculous. So it also contains Try Thanolomine, I don't know how to pronounce that but in the video I was just what in one of the videos I was watching today That is one of that is one of the really really bad ingredients if you see if you buy a product and you see try and, uh, <laughs> try phenomenon that's all I can pronounce it don't buy it okay because like I said like I said a few minutes ago it can cause your eyes to weep it can cause itchiness on your skin also some products contain formaldehyde why is that in a product you know all these kind of products you know like um, I mean not these products, I mean these ingredients like paraffin, mineral oil, petroleum, these come from crude oils, you know the same crude oils that puts petrols into fucking cars and people are putting these, people are putting these into stuff that we're using on our hair and it's not, it should not be, it should not be on our hair. Okay let me finish now, um, so it also contains sodium, hydro, methylicinate i need to do my research more but you know um polysorbate twin c tetrasodium edta um arginus spin salsa kernel oil fragrance but it doesn't say what fragrance it is it does says fragrance it says yellow 11 which is probably how it gets that color and then it says made with love and pride Oh, and look, it's made in the USA. Typical. So, yeah, I'm not long going to be using any hair gel. I'm going to look for hair gels that are more natural, but if I can't find it, then I won't be using hair gel on my hair, you know? So, next, my carrot oil. I use this carrot oil for my hot oil treatments. Oh, and it's important to note that in that video I just watched, they also said... They said the majority of these the majority of these bad ingredients are in hot oil treatments, hot oil treatments, hair relaxers. She said that the majority of these the majority of these bad hair majority of these bad ingredients are in um hot oil treatments, hair relaxers, leaving conditioners. And what was the fourth one again? I forgot what the fourth one is, but yeah, hair relaxers, leave-in conditioners, and hot oil treatments. That's where the majority of these bad chemicals are coming from. So, you know, I've got my carrot oil. It contains soybean, soybean oil, carrot seed, safflower, seed oil, BHT, aloe, bardinus leaf extract, horsetail. I've actually heard that horsetail is horsetail is actually really good for your hair so I'm not too worried about the horsetail extract um, pecan seed oil, rose hips rose hips fruit oil which is also really good vitamin E also really good isopropyl isopropyl 
I can't pronounce that second word, but yeah, fragrance, and it says it's perfume. It contains cholesterol, methyl paraben, and isol propyl paraben. Oh, and look, it also contains these, um, you know, colorings. Interesting. So it looks like I'm have to find another way to get some natural carrot oil. And you know, I've got my trusty, I have my trusty Sunny Isle Jamaica Matte Castor Oil. And you're only supposed to use this on your hair, don't use it anywhere else. Like, you can use it on your eyebrows. I know some people use it on eyelashes. I can never because my eyes will just, the next morning, my eyes will be puffy like nobody's business. So, that's not one thing. It's just, it's not that any of the ingredients are not natural. It's just my, my eyes are just way too sensitive. So, it says ingredients is resinous cumulus seed oil. See, it has one ingredient. Obviously it comes from obviously it comes from a castor bean and they burnt it. It has a really, really it has a really, really strong burnt smell. But actually it's 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 not it's not intolerable. You can get you will get used to it after a while. And it even shows you a picture on the side of the castor oil plant. You see it right there? The castor oil plant. And it was manufactured in Jamaica. And that's why it's called Jamaican Black Castor Oil. You can use this one. You can use the mango and lime. You can also use the Tropical Sun brand. No, wait. Is it called Tropical Sun? No, I think it's called Tropical Isle or something like that. It's got a very similar name to this one. So the Sunny Isle, Mango and Lime, the Tropical Isle Light, the Tropical Isle one. Um, and have, they have many other jamaican black castor oils so but just make sure just make sure you read ingredients i like using this one because the only it only has like one ingredient you know that's why i like using it alike naturals i need to get some more of this because <clears throat> where is it gone now ols i've I've been looking at the ingredient list. I've been using this in my head. I've been looking at the ingredient list. You need to be dash way. No, sir. Mm -mm. I'm not using this in my hair anymore. If you look at ingredients list, yes, the first ingredient is water, and water is the one ingredient. They say, oh, you should use it in your. It should be the first thing in the hair. But then I'm looking at the other. I'm looking at the other ingredients, and I'm like, what on earth? You see, I get into a bad habit. I just tend to pick things up, and I don't read the ingredients list all the time. It's an bad very bad habit that i have but i need to stop doing that i actually need to read the what the ingredients say so you know some of the ingredients are you know aqua which is water um it's got shea butter in it it's got olive oil it's got glycerin it's got sexual sexual alcohol um mango fruit extract hydrolyzed keratin it's got cholesterol um, sexual alcohol citric acid some of the ingredients I'm just not no mm -mm. some of the ingredients I'm just not feeling so I will not be doing that so i'll be going back to using alike naturals leave in conditioner it's the lemongrass one i absolutely love this hair conditioner it works really really well i used to put it in with my where did i put that thing now ah here we go i used to use it with this this hair and more common hair butter by love roll naturals I love, love, love this. This keeps my hair so moisturised. It actually keeps my hair moisturised on the same level as using hair grease. On the same level as using hair grease. That's how much this butter keeps my hair moisturised. Now, a lot, a lot will keep my hair moisturised. So, you can just imagine. And this is all natural ingredients. Like, this um, vegan hair company, all their natural. And okay, Naturals is also, is also all natural. So the ingredients, so the ingredients for Alike Naturals leave-in conditioner is water, um, aloe, 
aloe vera juice um, it contains citric alcohol coconut to coconut derived um, I'm just gonna say chloride and it's again coconut deprived silk amino acids which is a natural protein vegetable glycerin um, prunus amygdalus dosis sweet almond oil um, treaties come vulgar wheat um, germ oil so then there's the lemongrass oil extract um, there's also a natural detangling agent in there I'm not even going to try to pronounce its chemical name because <laughs> you see this is another thing people need to say that they need to stop saying that because um, because some ingredients have very difficult names to pronounce they'll be like oh my god it's bad for you no sometimes you have to remember a lot of these a lot of natural products they also have chemical names that are hard to pronounce just because it's hard to pronounce does not mean that it's harmful it just means everything everything has a chemical name that's what you need to remember everything in life has a chemical name so when you look at an ingredient and you say no i'm not going to touch it because it, you're not going to touch it because the the name is hard to pronounce what you need to do is you need to go into google and you need to research this is what i'm going to do go into google and do your research and if it's if it's something natural then you will know and if it's not natural then keep away from it that's the one thing to remember so do a list so do a list of all the things, all the things like when you see natural hair products, like do a list of them and then search them, search them out for yourself and then see, and then see for yourself. So it also contains sorbic acid, a food grade preservative fragrance, colour yellow 5 and botanical blend. And again, it doesn't say what the fragrance is, but you can really smell the lemon in it. So I presume that is what the fragrance is. Colour yellow five. Well, as you can see, I have nothing left. Just that little drop and that's not enough for my hair because as you can see, I have a lot of hair on my head. So this is not enough. So yeah, I'm going to be ordering some more of this today once I've uploaded this video. Can to shear butter, let's see. I, sh I don't use, I really actually don't use this anymore because I, I use TGIN daily moisturizer and this this gets my twist looking so nice. So can to shear butter for natural hair contains water glycerin, glycerin propandiol, fragrance, perfume, polyquartonum 10, Stericlonum chloride, um, sterile alcohol, um, coconut oil, shea butter, um, aloe vera leaf juice, a whole oil, soybean oil, sweet almond oil, avocado oil, olive fruit oil, mango seed butter, um, you see, it's that um, it's that sterile alcohol. What if you pronounce it? That is the one. That is the wait. It's an isopropyl alcohol that I've seen in one of these. That I've seen in one of these, and that is the one you need to stay away from because that that's not supposed that's not supposed to be used on your hair. Nope, nope. This sterile alcohol. I'm sure that's one of those alcohols that lifts your cuticles so it can retain moisture. But I don't know what it is with this product. It does. My hair also feels dry after I use it, so that's another thing I'm going to be dashing away. Dashing, dashing away. TGIN, thank God it's natural. This is a black owned hair company, so is black owned hair company. Black owned hair company, this one's black British. TGIN. So it says, when half a law graduate and breast cancer survivor, Chris Tia Don Donaldson was unable to find products for her textured hair. She invented them and thank God it's natural. T. Dryan was born, made with Chris Tia's passion for wellness and immense attention to detail. T. Dryan products are developed using the finest ingredients to support the health of your hair, skin and body. And so let's see the ingredients list. So it contains water which is a good sign glycerin shea butter sexual alcohol coconut oil it's funny though because my hair really hates coconut and it's 
in its natural form you know like coconut oil straight to my hair but it's like when coconut oil is within another product my hair don't seem to mind that but when it's just like coconut oil just straight on my hair it's like that would be a no actually see i got this coconut oil here got this coconut oil here and as you can see there's a lot left in it because i don't use it anymore i used it on my skin and my skin broke out like nobody's business but if you want to get some and this is the virgin cold pressed coconut oil 100 percent certified organic i got this from a black on business if you live here in the west midlands and you live in here in birmingham you can you know if you know where one stop is then you can go to one stop and in the market just just around the corner from that guy who fixes the shoes um there is there is a black woman she has her own little shop it contains books head scarves and um, coconut oil she also has got natural shea butter which i'm going to be buying i'm also going to be buying because i want to support her you know virgin cold pressed coconut oil yep my hair was like my hair was a nope my hair was a nope my skin was a nope it's just like, I don't know what it is, it's just the smell of it as well, it's just, ugh. I know it's natural, but it lingers, it really does linger. I, I just can't with it anymore. But I'm not going to throw it away though. So as I was saying, it contains water, glycerine, shea butter, etc. alcohol, coconut oil. A moldy the cone I can't even pronounce the other word um olive fruit oil coca shea butter um sweet almond oil you see a lot of these products contain sweet almond oil because almond oil is really really good for your hair and my hair is thriving off this I am telling you the smell of this product is just as you can see it looks like that is white inconsistency it is oh god the smell of this product is just delicious like you want to eat it but don't do it please i wouldn't advise you to do that no just because it smells good enough to eat i would not advise it and because the just because the majority of the products are um natural don't mean you should be eating it um where was i so wheat gem oil um aloe leaf juice hydrolyzed soy protein panthenol which is pro vitamin b5 as patrick acid and um, contains fragrance which you can smell but it's a very nice fragrance um once again another word i can't pronounce But yes that is another one aunt jackie's aunt jackie's fix my hair i use this for my deep conditioner i absolutely love this deep conditioner the only thing is i'm gonna might have to start making my own hair care products i'm gonna start making my own hair grease and hair care products because i've got the time i've finished uni now i've completed i've got my last assignment handed in yesterday i mean i have one resubmission for july but i'm not really too worried about it i'm gonna be i'm not gonna be typing it up for just a couple of weeks yet because i need a break from typing on the computer because you can see these bags and demise are getting worse i just need a break from it all and i need to sleep so yeah aunt jackie's aunt jackie's curls and coils now aunt jackie's is another good hair care product it's cheap as well I think it was four pounds i got it for about four pounds so it wasn't too bad it's cheap it works really really well on my hair so i like it oh just another thing to say anna k naturals product line also does also does deep conditioners you can get the honey and sage one and you can get or you can get the avocado one i think i might order the avocado one next time because i used the honey and the sage one and the only problem with that is the sage leaves bits in my hair which are very difficult to wash out they're all out of my hair now but because i've not used i've not used that deep conditioner since last year and the 
the only thing is it's it's a very very small it comes in very very small packaging so that is a problem it is like like you know you need something that's more like this size that will last quite a while but you know people gotta do what they gotta do so that is that so Aunt Jackie's Aunt Jackie's product line is ingredients like you who's gonna be able to see that mm? who can see that you see how small it is like Aunt Jackie's I love you but come on now make the products make the ingredient list bigger because nobody should be squinting like this to just be able to read that I'm not even gonna attempt to read it on camera because you probably think I'm crazy if I just squint like that so no and I only use I only wear my glasses when I'm on the computer so I don't think I'll be reading that but you know the first ingredient is aqua which is water so yeah that's a good thing now I got this 100% African shea butter I got it from I got it from an Asian hair shop I still have it it still smells exactly the same as you can see it's yellow in consistency what I may do what I may do is I may go to that shop down one stop the one I just mentioned and buy buy their shea butter and then blend it with this one so that so that I have something to use on my skin once my palmer's cream runs out because I love using palmer's cream but they also got paraffin and mineral oil and all this kind of stuff in their, in their products I'm like palmer's why do you know how many do you know how many women use your products not just black but asian white women also using your your cocoa butter as well now you've also you've also invested in you've also diversed into hair care line and your products are still have your products do have mineral oil and paraffin and all this kind of nonsense it's like what the fuck is on with you seriously what is on with you do you not do you not think do you not think logically that these products are actually harmful for harmful for people's bodies and especially the fact that a lot of women use these used cocoa butter especially a lot of black women use cocoa butter so you already know where I'm, you already know where i'm going from this i don't have to say racism but like come on now but like from what i've read about shea butter it's actually i believe shea butter is actually a natural um is actual a natural sunblock this and coconut oil you can use it on your skin and you don't have to use any, you don't have to use anything else because it's a natural um because it's a natural skin skin protectant so yeah i'm gonna start using start using this on my skin start using this on my skin because i don't use it on my hair anymore so start using this on my skin see how my skin gets on with that because as you can see i got these dark marks on my chest and on my face i'm not sure whether i use this on my face but i'm trying to clear up all of this now i drink a lot of water i drink about i drink one liter of water a day and sometimes it comes up to almost two liters of water two liters of water today or sometimes one and a half liters of water today but these these dark marks are very very stubborn they will not budge the only time the only time they start to fade is when i'm on holiday when i get a tan that's the only time they start to fade and they're not noticeable but once the tan once the tan fades boom they're right there again you know so i've had enough of it now so i'm gonna try some i'm gonna try some more natural ingredients because i've used palmers on my skin and that's like clearing up my dark marks i've used coconut oil because coconut oil is supposed to be really good for clearing up dark marks but my skin broke out which made the problem worse so now i also have dark marks on my on my thighs and my bum and it's very annoying it's like my bouncy full of dark marks now <laughs> and you're supposed to embrace them but like and I know it's melanin is a wonderful thing, but no, not anywhere else where it's covered, but not right here on my chest. Because I I get a little bit jealous when you see women who have like perfectly have like that perfect skin, and then like me, just like God. But anyway, I also use hair grease. I use Foundations Herbal Grow. I'm not to start making my own hair grease because once again it's the same nonsense. I mean mineral oil, paraffin. The loaning oil. Yeah, it's got coconut oil, olive oil, sunflower seed oil. You see, you can just make your own hair grease. Just get these ingredients, the ones that are actually natural, and just mix them, mix and blend them all together. Make your own hair grease. It does. It, the only thing that don't. I think the only reason to use mineral oil and paraffin and all this kind of stuff. I don't know. Is some like I presume some kind of uh, some kind of preservative 
to stop those other oils, you know, but you don't need them like wheat gem, wheat gem oil. Um, I don't understand why water is so far down, like, it's like the 15th ingredient down, it should be number one. And see, look, what's the number one ingredient in this petroleum? Petroleum. Madness. So I will watch a few videos, how to make your own hair grease, and then I'm just going to get to it with, use some of my pure almond oil, my jasmine oil. My Jamaican black castor oil and um, carrot oil. I love to be getting some olive oil. I'll be getting a lot of these. I'll be getting a lot of these oils actually. I'm just making my own hair grease because I've had enough. Because the only thing is, I love using hair grease because it keeps it keeps my hair moisturized for longer. But I don't want it, I don't want to taking a risk with my health. But I decided to do this video to show you my hair care products, the natural ones, and the ones that are not so natural because I just want you. I just want you women out there to be more conscious and careful with the with the ingredients that you use on your hair because it's not just it's not just the ingredients you use on your hair but it's also once you use on your skin what you eat is also very important. I eat a lot of fruit and vegetables. I'm not new I eat a lot of fruit and vegetables. I eat my I eat meat but I don't eat a lot of processed meat. When I eat meat, I mean I'm talking like the I'm talking like proper, you know, like chicken breast, chicken wings, um lamb chops you know i'm talking like proper meat i don't eat, i rarely eat processed meat that often because i i really don't see the point in it and it's just like it just make it just weighs your stomach down but i also i'm also quick to go to caribbean um, i will go to like chinese takeaway or pizza pizza or caribbean takeaway just when the mood hits you but I'm just saying, you know, just be careful, just be careful and conscious, look at the ingredient, look at the ingredients list and think to yourself, is it worth it, you know? Is it actually worth it? What's more important, your health or your hair looking, your hair looking good, but then your body is sick? Like, what is, what's good having good hair, but your body is sick because the ingredients you use are not really good? So, yeah. The, like I said, the gel is going away until I find some natural hair gel. I don't use I don't use that hair gel very often anyway, but I've used it twice this year and I've noticed the same problem. If when I moisturise my hair with with this, my leave-in conditioner, and then sealed it in with some hair grease afterwards, I found that my hair was still shedding like crazy. So I'm just like, you know what, I'm kind of over this nonsense. I'm kind of over putting things on my head that obviously are not good for it so I won't be using it anymore oh by the way I use them um, I use OGX I use OGX um what's it called um their almond oil their almond oil hair conditioner I love that product I'm not going like I'm going to be using I'm going to be using their shampoo as well that very same shampoo because you know they do a lot so I'm using that one because I absolutely love it love it love it I'm gonna keep using it and I'm also gonna get in there I'm gonna also be getting their shampoo because I also love that my hair works really well with that with that product so I'm gonna keep on using it but a lot of these products that I've got here I'm no longer gonna be using I'm still gonna be sticking to Aunt Jackie's and TGIN and I'm also gonna be looking watching um Dear Natural 85, I mean Natural 85's videos, because I love watching her videos, so I can get some ideas on how to make my own deep conditioners and my own, because she has one really good video about um, how to make your own mango hair butter to use as a sealant, so I'm going to be watching that and learning how to make that myself, and you can order the ingredients from Amazon, also her other one, how to make, I think it was um, an avocado deep conditioner, and she has another one, how to make a black soap shampoo, so I'm going to try and... So I'm going to try and make that myself as well to start using more ingredients that are a lot more <coughs> that are a lot more natural and stop using stop using ingredients like this because I literally had enough of it now. All this stuff, all this stuff to target between towards black women that are not good for us. So what is even the point of using it? You know. So I'm sorry for rambling on. I didn't realise bloody I looked at the time. It's 34 minutes. I'm going to log out and enjoy the rest of the sunshine. I hope you enjoy your day. Stay blessed, stay healthy and stay wealthy. Alright, bye.